All right, Shalom. Shalom. We want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and blessings to the elect. It's the brother Yachazak, and I got uh, Tazamah here with me. God, shalom, shalom. GMS Dallas, and uh, we just uh, on our way to class, man. We want to go into uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, you know, uh, while we are uh, on our way. So hopefully it'll be edifying. We're just going to get straight to it. God. All right, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of Yahweh. Right. So what Paul is saying is like now he's like when when he when he came unto us, you know when we uh, we were in Corinth, you know he said that he came not unto us with excellency of speech or wisdom, uh, or speech or wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which meaning which is meaning that he didn't come speaking uh he didn't come speaking eloquent words you know big huge words trying to trying to uh trying to persuade or get anybody persuaded you know what i'm saying he came to speak the doctrine of yahweh with boldness and sincerity now when you look at that word uh when you look up that word uh excellency that word in the he i'm sorry the word in the greek is uh that word is hu hu para hu para all right hey right so it says elevation, preeminence, superiority, or metaphor of excellence. All right. So which meaning that uh, he didn't come, he didn't come in a uh, in a way as these uh, as these like barbers Bible scholars would come with a, with the black suit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to use these huge words. Nah, man. And that's how we come in that stead too. When we on the highways and byways, we're not looking to make friends. All right. We're looking to edify the elect. Okay. And and preach the word. With all truthfulness and sincerity, with boldness and confidence. That's right. And speaking the word with confidence and boldness, it may not come out the way that you want it to come out. It may not come out, quote unquote, nice or happy. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come out rough, rugged, and raw, man. Which is the way that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah wanted to come out. You That's know? right. That's right, brother. All right. Ready for verse two? Uh, come on, come on. All right. This is uh, verse two. It says, For I determined not to know anything among you save Hamashiach Yahweh Shai and him crucified. <laughs> right. He like, look, I didn't come to know anything about y'all, man. I ain't come to make no I, I didn't come to 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 eat chicken and, and, and make all these dang friends. You know, but through the spirit, of course, you you make disciples. And with the disciple with the disciples comes a brotherhood. And with the brotherhood comes, you know, fellowship, of course. You know, but when he says, like, for I determined not to know anything among you, save, which means accept Yahweh Shai Mashiach. You know, I didn't come to know any, I didn't come to know any of you guys' past lives or what you guys had going on when you're in the world. Look, I'm coming to preach about Yahweh Shai. That's, That's pretty right. much what he's saying. Okay. Point blank, period. Go ahead. All right. So, verse three, it says, and I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, mm -hmm. but in demonstration of the spirit and power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, mm -hmm. but in the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yup, yup. And he said, my speech, my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. Okay, so he didn't use he didn't use enticing or quote unquote uh, persuading words. Okay, that word enticing in the Greek is a uh, pathos. All right, it says persuasive. All right, enticing. Now, when you go into the uh, when you go into the Hebrew, uh, the, the lexicon, it says uh, it says it says persuasive. Um, actually, let me go to, let me go to the root of that word because there was actually a uh, a point when I looked in, when I looked into the word. Actually, it says persuade. Now, this is the root of the word. It says patho. All right, it says persuade to persuade, i.e., to induce one by words to believe. Here's the point that I want to make in, in letter B. It says to make friends of, to win one's favor, gain one's goodwill, or to seek to win one to strive to please one or to tranquilize. Yeah. You know, so we ain't looking, we ain't out here to tranquilize or to look to please anybody with, with the word that we speak, man. You know, because as the word says, it says uh, we didn't come with enticing words of man's wisdom or how men would like the word to come out to be persuading to their own ears. But in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Right. You know, we come in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. It says that your faith should stand in the wit and, and that your faith should stand not, or I'm sorry, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, 
but in the power of the Most High. You know, so our faith stands in the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, not in not in what a man, not in what what man says, and us to try to win the get win the favor of what you people may think about us. God, you know, you I, I got a preach for you. God. This is uh, Sirach chapter thirteen, verse twenty through twenty three. It says, "As the proud hate humility, so doth the rich abhor the poor." A rich man beginning to fall is held up of his friends, mm -hmm. but a poor man being down, uh, but a poor man being down is thrust also away by his friends. When a rich man is fallen, he had many helpers. Right. He speaketh things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. Yep. The poor, the poor man slipped, and they rebuked him too. He spake wisely, and he, uh, uh, he spake wisely, and could have no place. Right, and that's and that's kind of how that's kind of like how we are, man. If, if we were out there, if if we were out there, and we had these, uh, you know, we had these nice suits on, you know what I'm saying, and we were over there speaking elegant and, and quote unquote lovely words, talking about how the Lord's gonna come down and He's gonna save everybody, and you know, and we had and we had uh, clean shaven faces and fresh hairlines, you know what I'm saying. Everybody would be out there trying to get down to what we had going on, even if it was a so-called white man out there. If it's a so-called white man out there preaching, you're gonna have Jake out there listening and shutting the hell up. But when it's us, when it's a when we quote unquote when it's the poor man out there speaking, you know, they look down on us. You know what I'm saying? Who are these niggas? Who the hell are they? It was like verse 23 it says, when a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue and look what he <laughs> what he saith uh, and look what he saith. Right. They extol it to the clouds. But if a but if a poor man speak, they say, "What fellow is this?" Exactly, like you just said. <laughs> like if a poor like us, when a poor man speak, what are they out there talking about? Ooh, they they out there cursing. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's what happened on Tuesday, man. These 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 three nigger women, you know, walking by, looking looking dusty and shit. You know what I'm saying? Walking by at camp, and a brother said a so-called curse word, and they said, "Ooh, they out there cursing." Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. But if it's a so-called white man out there. With his, with his proud devilish look over there slithering and deceiving y'all everybody gonna shut the heck up everybody gonna shut the heck up and what they're gonna they're gonna exalt his words to the heavens like he's just this high and mighty man God. you know what i'm saying just because the way he could look or his countenance or his or his uh or his persona if you will his character i'm gonna finish this verse come on, brother it say uh it said but if a poor man speak they say what fellow is this and if he stumble or curse you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They will help to overthrow him. Yeah, and they will help to overthrow him, man. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of people out there. Hey, don't listen to these guys, man. They call they call the they call the white man the devil. They're saying that they're gonna be destroyed. And it's our own people that mainly do it, man. Cause when you read these when you read these letters that Paul wrote and even the even our uh, our forefathers, the the apostles, the prophets, when you write these letters, who they were writing them to our people. They were writing them to Jake. So when it talks about when it talks about a uh, man's wisdom, you had you had Jake, back, especially back in Corinth, passing different philosophies and different uh and different doctrines of uh of uh of the wisdom of the Greeks, if you will. Okay. You know you had that's why uh, Paul said I'm adept to the Greeks and to the barbarians. You know what I'm saying? Because the uh, you had like uh people like who like Socrates and these different philosophers that was walking around around these times. They're not saying that they were around the time of Paul. You know, but there was different. Uh, there was it was it was Greek wisdom being pushed yeah. in these different areas. Other philosophies, exactly. Yeah. Yep. All right. You can see uh, verse four. That was uh, verse five. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai. Right. How be it, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. We speak wisdom among them that are perfect. We speak wisdom among them that are mature. All right. Uh, uh, what's that scripture? Um. Ah, what's that scripture that tells you how uh, when you were as a child we thought as a child? Oh, that's uh, 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 First Corinthians eleven. Yeah, I'll get it real. Quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get eleven it and yeah, I think it's chapter eleven. It's so like when I was as a child, I spake as a child, but I became a man. Yeah, I put away childish things. Let's see, I can look it up too. Yeah, yeah. here we go. I got it. All right, this is First Corinthians chapter uh, thirteen, verse eleven. It okay. says, "When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child." I thought as a child, mm -hmm. but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Man, I was saying, and even when you come into this truth, man, you're born all over again. 
So it's certain questions you might ask that may seem childish, but the more and more you understand and the more and more you study, the more and more you grow, you, you start to understand as a man in the spirit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Uh, it's a lot, kid. It says, uh, for now, as uh, this is verse 12, for now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Okay, that's going into something else. Con, yeah. con. There was another scripture that came to my mind. I'm, I'm looking for it right now. Um, pretty much how it tells you uh, be uh, how it tells you uh, be a babe uh, to maliciousness. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah let me yeah. get it real quick if I can find it. So like, well, I can't even find. It. We can actually just jump back. All right, we can jump back. But what that scripture is talking about, uh, going back to First uh, Corinthians chapter two, when it says, uh, "How be it?" I'm sorry. Uh, where we at? Verse we six. Had, yeah, no, we. Have, I just read verse six. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect? Yeah, well, I read the top line, so we can continue that. Okay, con, so lock, my bad. All right. How be it we speak wisdom amongst them that are perfect? Right. Yet not the wisdom of this world, uh -huh. nor the uh, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught, uh -huh. but we speak wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, <laughs> even the hidden wisdom which Yahweh ordained before the world unto our glory. Right, we speak the wisdom of the Heavenly Father in a mystery. You know, when you go into, I, I like to go into that word mystery, which in the Greek, that word is a uh, mysterion, which means, uh, I'm just going to actually get it real quick. You know, it goes into only only something that's given into the uh, quote unquote initiated. You know what I'm saying? That word is mysterion. It says a hidden thing, secret, mystery. It says uh, generally mysteries, religious secrets. Confined only to the initiated. That's what I'm saying. That's the thing. And that's the thing. Confined only to the initiated. Yep. I would say you got all these guys that want to tell you what the scripture is talking about and what they ain't talking about and all that, you know. Mm -hmm. But that's what I'm saying. That's your interpretation of the mystery. Yep. Just because that's your interpretation, don't make it right. It's one doctrine, man. And according to the doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all those other philosophies and all those other breakdowns are off. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't, that's what you have to take out too many different things. You have to erase so much of the Bible to make that stick. You know what I'm saying? And then some yeah. of the stuff is just flat out not true. Yeah, yeah. Man, some of the stuff is just made up, pulled out your ass, blunt smoke theory bullshit. Go ahead. <laughs> it says uh, religious secrets confined only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals. That's what I'm saying. Not to ordinary mortals. Last night we talked about <laughs> the difference between the carnal man and the spiritual man. Right. The spiritual man is going to receive those gifts and keep running and keep running to the end. And, and, and try to, his best to endure You know mm -hmm. The carnal man is going to be sitting up there talking about That ain't what that's talking about That ain't what that's talking about It's talking about this It's talking about this No, uh -uh, that ain't what that's talking about You're going off All proud, bloviating, chest poked out And wrong yep. Read I'm going to go to uh, letter C Check this out It says the hidden purpose of counsel Secret will of men Let, uh, This is subsection B it says, of the Most High, mm -hmm. right? The secret counsels which govern the Most High in dealing with the righteous, which are hidden from ungodly and wicked men, but plain to the godly. That's what I'm saying. It's plain <laughs> for us to see the breakdown in Revelation 9, the in-depth focus that the apostles and elders of Great Millstone put out years ago yeah. through the spirit of power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's plain for us to see that. We did the research. You know what I'm saying? And it lined up. Right. But if you're going to sit up here and tell me that we're going to get beamed up into the chariots and our bodies changed just to come down, to, uh, just to come back down to earth and lose, yeah, that's, that's the right. scriptures don't say that. It doesn't so say that, that, bro. So that means the mystery is not, un the, the mystery was not unlocked to you. Yep. So we ain't worried about that. You know what I'm saying? We're not initiated. The doctrine that we believe, I would say the doctrine that we was taught, we sticking with it, you know? Con, I'm going gonna, to uh, get a real quick precept for you. Con. You know, uh, it's, it's a very, it's a milk scripture that hits home, right? All the scriptures hit home. Con, brother, con. Especially the milk, because that's yeah. where you start. That's right. Yeah, that's milk, ain't, I would say meat ain't going to hit you to milk, dude. Yep, exactly. This is Romans 13 and 11. I'm sorry, not 13 and 11, my bad. Romans 11 and 7 is what I wanted to select you. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The initiated, man. Yep. The initiated. Mm -hmm. The Lord had it, set, had it set up to where it was going to be men that was going to understand, and they was going to go out and teach, and it was going to be other men that was going to believe because of their words, because they was coming in the power and the stead of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's right, brother. Yahweh Shai prayed to the Heavenly Father that those men would exist in that time, and we live in that time, man. That's right. I don't give a damn if it's six days or six more years or six more months or, you know, 
or six more hours, whatever it is, however long the time is, you're going to have to endure until then. Yep. You know? Yep. Go ahead. Verse 8. According as it is written, the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber. Yeah, the Most High did give you the spirit of slumber, man. The Most High did give you the spirit of uh, uh, spiritual slumber. You spiritually sleep, man. You know what I'm saying? You woke up, but you hit the snooze button. Yep. You know? Yep. Go ahead. Eyes that they should not see, mm -hmm. and ears that they should not hear, until this day. That's what I'm saying. They looking all through the scriptures and don't see it. They listening to the scriptures, listening to the breakdowns, listening to the. They don't get it. Yep. They don't get it. You know. And it says until. And, and this is Paul writing this. Paul was writing this two thousand years ago, and he says until this day. Mm -hmm. So that spirit of slumber ain't gone nowhere. Nope. On those certain individuals that setting up to not get the truth. And to understand the breakdowns and the mysteries of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, they're not, they're never gonna get it. That's right. They're never gonna get it. You know, because unto this day they still had that spirit of slumber on them. All right, and it says in verse 9, and David said, Let their table be made a snare mm -hmm. and a trap and a stumbling block. Oh, I say a snare and a trap, a, a snare, a trap, and a stumbling block. All those things are negative towards your walk, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Some men gonna be able to bypass them. Some men not gonna be able to bypass them, man. Yep. But now stumbling blocks was put in the plate. Uh, stumbling blocks was put into play to carry out the sifting of the nation of Israel. That's right. You That's know right. what I'm saying? Yep. Go ahead. And a recompense unto them. Uh, let their eyes be dark. That was they say. They say let your table be made a snare as a recompense to you. Man, payback. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> meaning you offended. Meaning you offended. Yeah. Yeah. You offended Yahweh by Shem Yahweh was shot with your behavior. So he putting snares and traps and stumbling blocks in front of you to pay for a payback. Yeah. Wow. Go ahead. <laughs> it says, uh, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see mm -hmm. and bow down their back always. That's what I'm saying. Make their uh, ears fat, make their heart fat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make their ears heavy. All these different allegories and metaphors to be like, nah, he can't get this. Nah, uh -uh. that ain't the plan for him. Yep. I got something else planned for him. Yep. He gonna oppose, but he gonna oppose my prophets. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna set him up to oppose the prophets, cause it's gotta be opposition, right? Yeah. You it's, know, it's like how it's like how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai did. Uh, I forgot I forgot which king it was, but he had put a uh, he had put a lion spirit. Oh, uh, the Micah I story. Con. He was like yeah. he had put a lion spirit on somebody to go out there and uh and to, and to pretty much to to, to lie. Yeah. And that's how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah does it with these different with these different guys, and they go out with these different doctrines that they create. You know, he's putting lying spirits. Everybody standing in their lot. Con. Everybody standing in their lot from from way back from from back then till now. You are in the same lot in the same stead that you've always. If you was a, it, it, the Most High doesn't have it, Raz. You was a prophet back then. You know, preaching the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And then he's gonna have you in this lifetime just being a scoffer. Yeah, being a nigga. Being a nigga. That's not how the most high does it, man. If you a prophet and you and you are gonna stay in that lot of being a prophet yeah. until the time, until the end times, man. The spirit of the prophets is subject, subject to the prophets. To the prophets so that means the spirit of the scoffers is it's subject to the spirits of the scoffers. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The spirits of the harlots, the spirits of the you know what I'm saying? The spirits of the niggas is subject to the niggas, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is how the Lord creates spirits for vengeance, that's happening now. Nope. That's happening now. People think I will say people think these 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 things ain't happening right while we speak. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is stirring up the spirits for vengeance now. Why you think the world's so messed up? It's yep. all leading up to something, man. Yep. Something about to something's about to happen, man. Something's boiling over and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is about to is about to let the smack down unleashed on on America, man. And then you know, starting with two thirds of our people, man, the house of uh, the house of Israel. That's right. You know? Did that you have more to that? Uh, no, that was it on that Romans. All right, we can go back to 1 Corinthians now. Okay. All right, verse 7 says, But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, even uh, even the hidden wisdom, which Yahweh ordained before the before the world unto our glory. All right. Go ahead. Verse 8 says, Which none of the princes of this world knew. Which none of the princes of this world knew. The princes of this world would be the, 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 the so-called mighty men of this world. You know, the, the so-called mighty men in wisdom. Of this of this world that we know, it says that which none of the princes of this world knew. Go ahead. It says for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of Glory. And this is talking about Jake, man. This is talking that back then. This is talking. He was talking to the. He was talking to the different scribes and Pharisees of that time, man. Yeah. You know, and this is talking about Jake still now. 
you know, says for if they uh, for had they known it, <laughs> they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. If they would have known what, if they would have known the prophecies, if they would have known the scriptures, understanding that this man Yahweh Shai would have come down from 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 Yahweh from the heavens to fulfill His word, to fulfill to fulfill the heavenly Father's will, and that He had to fulfill prophecy. God. They didn't see it. That's right. They did just how they don't just how they claim. Just how they claim that the men of the Lord, starting with the Apostle Tahar on down from Great Millstone, they don't see that they, that these are the men of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, they, they don't sent, believe it. They've been sent from Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man, for us. They don't believe that. I'm saying they don't believe that the Lord sent men to teach us. Yep. They don't believe that. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Men, you don't believe the scriptures. Yep. Because the the, the 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 Lord said, "I'm gonna give you pastors according but to my, my heart." heart man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said it, bro. And the Lord don't love everybody, man. So that's not the message that's being pushed. Yep. You know? Yep. You got it. All right. This is uh, verse 9. It says, but, it, uh, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Yahweh had prepared for them that love him. Right. Go ahead. But, the, uh, but Yahweh has revealed to them unto, uh, but Yahweh has revealed them unto us by his spirit. But the heavenly father has revealed the things that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, or the mind of the, what the heart of man that has entered into our heart, what has been prepared for us that love him, right? He's revealed them unto us through what? Through his spirit, mm -hmm. which is through Yahweh Shai, man. That's what I'm saying. And if Yahweh Shai come in the volume of the book, so does Yahweh. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Go ahead. All right. It says the spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of Yahweh. The deep things of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Real quick, could you go to, uh, real quick, could you go to, um, uh, uh, Romans 11 and 33? All right, Romans 11 and 33. Um, I still got 1 Corinthians here. All right. First view. I believe Romans 11 and 33, because it says the Most High reveals the deep things. Yep. You know? This is, uh, Romans chapter 11 and 33. It says, Oh, the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh, how unsearchable are his judgments uh -huh. and his ways past finding out. Oh, it says, oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. It says, how unsearchable, uh, could you read that last part again, Salah? So Gun. It says, how unsearchable are his judgments uh -huh. and his ways past finding out. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out, man. You gotta be, man, the most high Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai has to be dealing with you. For him to reveal these deep things unto you, man. Right. And you can tell that he's dealing with the apostles and elders, man, of Great Millstone. Because with these certain breakdowns, with the breakdowns that's been given to those men through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, man, it only makes sense. It makes sense of what the scriptures is talking about. And the little breakdowns that you guys are coming up with, talking about how the, 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 the apostles and elders are wrong, you know, this is what this is really talking about. It doesn't even make sense, man. Uh -uh. When you just when you just sit when you just sit down and you just reckon what they're talking about and you calculate and impute everything, you sitting down with your calculator like, hold on, man, this ain't adding up, man. Something isn't right here, man. There's there something isn't right. Because why, man? It's just because it's because demons, man. It's because uh -huh. demons and doubt. No faith in that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has been on the planet Earth to teach us, man. God. You know, it says the 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 the, the death of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Because you you guys, man, you can you can think that you're on the deep end, man. You know, you got water going up to your neck thinking that you deep. Man, that's man, that's way pet, man. Hell no, nah, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing. Compared to what the, compared to what the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai can do for the for the men that love him, man. God. You know? That's it on that. Alright. Go back to first Corinthians. Yeah, we're on verse eleven. Alright. First Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven says, For what man knoweth the things of the man uh, for what man for what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man which is in him. Mm -hmm. Even so the things the most high knoweth no man but the spirit of the most high right because every everything is revealed through what ultimately everything is revealed through the spirit yahweh shai has to open your mind for you to receive it God. in order for you to understand it if he doesn't if he doesn't unlock your mind to receive the deep things that he has given you you will not get it 
point blank period you just can't open up the scriptures and just read it and just figure out and just think that you got it that's not the way that the Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is the thing set up on this planet man Kah. that's not how it's, it's not, that's not how it's set up man it's he not carnal teachers. it wasn't set up carnally exactly it was set up spiritually and which the bottom the rest of the chapter is about to go into it just like what you just said is about to go into it that's right, right. Now. yep alright this is uh Verse 12, it says, now, now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yahweh, mm -hmm. by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right, because what? If, to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 tells you that faith and mercy is a gift that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai gives unto his elect, man. All right? So with the things that has been freely given unto us, man, we didn't receive the spirit of the world. We don't receive the spirit of carnality. Carnality had to the carnality had to be crucified. God. When Yahweh got crucified and when Yahweh got resurrected, he gave us a, a, a resurrection of the spirit, a resurrection of us being what uh, the new man, being God. a new creature, which means that you have a new understanding of how you're supposed to operate in this world. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 13, it says, Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, which is which is the difference between the elect and the, the two-thirds, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? It says, Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth. And that's all them crazy-ass, retarded breakdowns, man. Yep. That's that's man's wisdom, man. Mm -hmm. That's man's wisdom. That's what, you look, that's what you get when you look at the scriptures carnally. It says, But which the Holy Spirit teacheth, Compare, uh, comparing spiritual things with spiritual Comparing spiritual things with spiritual Understanding that it's spiritual That Abba Bivens which came in the flesh as a man Is John the Baptist coming back For those that can receive it Understanding that King Masha When he was on the planet earth Was King David coming back If a spiritual man could receive it God. Understanding that our apostles and elders are men of the Lord that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has sent to teach the elect if you can receive it. It's uh, only if you can receive it. Because the scriptures say all those things. It it, it, say, it say all those men were going to come back. It said all of them was going to do the work. It's, man, it's all in there. It tells you in the book of Hosea that, that we would seek, uh, I believe it's Hosea the, uh, the sixth chapter, it tells you that we would seek David our king. Uh -huh. It says that if it says that we're gonna see David our king in the latter in, in the latter days, are we in the latter days now? That would have to have meant that David, King David, had to have came back. Point. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Understanding the breakdowns. Understanding that the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip, and it has to be prophesied. That's right. It ain't no. It ain't no. Well, y'all can talk about the chip, but we are gonna talk about something else. The spirit is not dealing with that, man. Doesn't the scripture say the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy? Mm -hmm. So if, if the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy and the RFID microchip is written, isn't that a testimony of Yahweh Shai? So pretty much you say, I'm going to neglect that testimony that Yahweh Shai is talking about, but we're going to talk about something else, though. Yeah, they want to talk about what's in their own belly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They want to talk I say they want to talk about get, being traded down by the heathen in their new bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, <laughs> stupid man. That's just stupid, man. That's just flat out fucking stupid. That, just sounds, that sounds ridiculous. Man. Verse fourteen. <laughs> but the natural man, the natural man, receive it not the things of the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I'm gonna get this word natural for you. Gun. This word natural in the Greek is a suhikos, suhikas. All right. It says of or belonging to breath. Having the nature and characteristics of breath, here's the point, the principle of animal life, which men have in common with the brutes, mm -hmm. being a natural brute beast made and taken to be destroyed. Man. That's right, man. That's right, man. Men ain't going to have it. They weren't going to have it. You say carnal? Yep. That's what I'm saying. Carnal. When you go into carnal, one of the synonyms for carnal is, uh, what, was, what was that word you just looked up? Uh, 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 let me get them right back up here so I can. Uh, yeah. It says, uh, suhikas. No, what's the word? The English word. Oh, natural. Natural. That's what I'm saying. That natural go back to carnal in that verse. Verse 14. Uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 14. It says, But the natural man receive it not the things of the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. For they are foolishness unto him. We ain't say nothing about no cause of will hell. Your spirit is in your stomach. 
Why you think you always feel it in your gut? All this retarded shit. Oh, this retarded stuff, man. That's that carnal, that's what I'm saying, that's that carnal breakdown. Man. That's a carnal ass breakdown, man. Yo, it said, it, it, they say that the spirit is in your stomach, but it tells you, uh, it tells you that you gotta have a renewing of your mind. Oh, man. That's what I'm saying. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, for they are foolishness unto him. Right. Neither can they be, uh, neither can he know them because they are not, uh, because neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. They are spiritually discerned, man. The Most High, until we read it earlier, the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that cannot see and ears that cannot hear until this day. It says, for they are foolishness unto him. It's, foolish, it's, it's foolishness to believe that the RFID is a that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, or that it's here, or that it's here, or that it's here. It's foolishness for, for us to say that in their eyes. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. First, oh, like, go ahead. Go I ahead. Gonna say, I got, I'm gonna get a real quick precept for you, real quick. Come. It says, uh, it says, uh, this is First Corinthians chapter one, verse. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna start at uh 21. It says. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. Mm -hmm. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. That's what I'm saying. It's foolishness for us to get out there and talk about the chip, but it's pleasing to the Heavenly Father because it's warning his people of what he's going to bring to the place. Yep. That's what I'm saying. I look like a fool to some nigga. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I look like a fool to some nigga to be pleasing to the eyes of the Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the Heavenly Father said, get out there and tell the people this, whether they hear or forbear. Right. So whether you believe it or not, we're going to get out there and say what we learned. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Like, like the Brother Wamba said, man, it ain't my problem that you ain't satisfied with the breakdown. Right. That ain't my problem, man. That's your problem. Yep. Go ahead. Verse, uh, let's see, verse 22, it says, for the Jews require a sign. And the Greeks seek after wisdom, mm -hmm. but we preach Yahweh crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block mm -hmm. and unto the Greeks foolishness. Yep. Verse 24. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Yahweh the power of the Most High, and the wisdom of the Heavenly Father. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? There was a whole lot going on at that time, man. And they was preaching amongst all these people, and these were the different variations of people. You had people that believed, and you had people that didn't. Right. Right. Uh, verse 25, it says, But the foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. The Most High's wisdom say the chip is coming. The chip is here. Yep. Look out for it. Don't take it. Yep. That's, the, that's the Heavenly Father's wisdom. That's right. Read. It says, uh, But the foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men, and the weakness of the Most High is stronger than men. That's what I'm saying. The weakness of the Most High is stronger than men, man. That's what I'm saying. His thoughts is above our thoughts and ways. You know? Anything I would say he's better than us, period, point blank. So if you know if you understand his power, then you're gonna roll with that instead of going with your own belly. But if you don't understand his power, you're gonna be a nigga on the internet looking crazy as hell. Yep. Read. I'm just thinking of on that yeah, when, when, when we you just mentioned that how the wisdom and foolishness of preaching, you know how how the most high has it set up, man. He had Isaiah preach naked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which was yeah. which was foolishness. Unto the unto what men saw had he, had Ezekiel eating shit yeah it was foolishness to what men saw but but the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai had it had it stronger than men's wisdom that's right it had a deeper meaning unto what it had a deeper meaning unto what men seen and perceived it as man God you know because why it tells you that it's foolishness unto the Most High okay for the for the natural man to see it because they're what they're spiritually discerned they're not going to get it. They're not going to discern through the spirit what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is talking about or what he means or what he's saying. Okay? Uh, now that was it on 1 Corinthians. All right. Uh, I'm sorry, chapter 1, but we can jump back and finish up. Chapter all right, two. this is uh, verse 15. It says, But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Look up that word spiritual God. in verse 15. God. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Yep, it says now this word spiritual is uh this word is uh few uh few metikas. Alright, few uh few metikas. Alright, it says relating to the human spirit or rational soul as part of the man which is akin to the heavenly father. Oh, uh, read it again. Relating to the human spirit. Relating to the human spirit which dwells in all of us, in our head. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. For a rational soul, as part of the man which is akin to the heavenly father, mm-hmm. and serves as his instrumental organ. And serves as his instrumental organ, man. The heavenly father's instrumental organs ain't preaching bullshit on the internet, man. Right. <laughs> the most high has it, whereas, man, he's using you. You're, you're, uh, if you're, if you're operating in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're operating as a vessel that he chooses to do what he wants to, what he wants done. God. That's pleasing to him. God. Whether, whether it's, whether it's pleasing to you or not, whether you want to do it or not, it doesn't matter what you want to do. God. It matters what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai wants to do with the spirit. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that was it on that word though. All right. It says, but he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Right, and that's, and, and, and that's us too, man. Starting with our apostles and elders on down, man, we judge all things. Why? Because the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is dwell, dwelling within us to judge all things, man. It says, yet he himself is judge of no man. So nobody can come up and try to confine us and judge us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you speak in the words of the Heavenly Father, you can't nobody combat that. Exactly. It ain't nothing you can say, man. That's what I'm saying. That you gonna see, you gonna see one day. One day you gonna see. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When that judgment stirring you right in the face, you gonna remember all you're gonna remember all the shit you talked. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, get that in uh Matthew 12. Every man gonna be uh held accountable. Matthew 12, got you. Well, Let's get it right now. This is Matthew chapter 12, verse 6. Like 36, 12 and 36, 12, 12, 36, like 36, yeah, triple slot. 38, somewhere up in there. Yeah, this is Matthew chapter 12. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm sorry, verse 34, it says, God. O generation of vipers, how can ye being evil... That's what I'm saying, that generation of vipers is back, man. Yep. And they all on the comment boards. They all on the internet, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Uh, how can ye being evil speak good things? That's what I'm saying, how you gonna judge me? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. How you gonna judge me? You know, I'm speaking the words of the Heavenly Father, and you ain't. Right. That mean that means I'm the judge. Yeah. Through the Spirit, you know. Yeah. He set up judges on the planet Earth. He, he set up judges on the Earth. That's right. Do you believe that or not? That's right. It says, uh, "For out of the out of the abundance of the heart, mouth speaking." Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking. You want to be the man. Yep. You want to be the man. That's why the apostles are a bunch of old fools, a bunch of old dusty negroes. So to speak, you know what I'm saying? Cause you want to be the man. I would say you want to be you want to be credited for putting in 20, 25, and thirty years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just falling in line, knowing that we all gonna get get into the kingdom with the same penny. Yeah, man, that's the spirit. That's you the know spirit. what I'm saying? Yeah, I was about to say that. We all get we all get the same penny if we just stay if we just do the work. Follow line. Man. You know what I'm saying? That might be the next lesson, Lord willing, man. We all get the same penny. Yep. So why are you trying to? Take down the apostles and the elders and and the men that's up under them and trying to completely dismantle this truth for your own will, uh, well being or whatever you got going. You ain't you, you completely missing the boat. Yep. Completely. completely missing the boat. That's what I'm saying. We all gonna get the same penny, which represents the kid, the, the, the kingdom of heaven, man. That's right. It says for out of the uh, it says for out of the abundance of the heart. The mouth speaking, mm-hmm. you know, and that makes me think about uh, that makes me think about Matthew chapter six when it talks about uh, where where a man's heart is, that's where his treasure is going to be also. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, where his man's treasure is, that's where his heart is going to be also. So it tells you where your heart is, that's where your treasure is going to be. So your treasure is speaking evil things. Yep. At the end of the day, right? It says a good man out, a, a good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. An evil man. Out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. Mm-hmm. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Because mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you like this, man. The reason why I'm confident in what I'm saying right now through the Spirit is because we teach in the word of the Heavenly Father, yep. man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We we glorifying Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Everything is about Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. These other niggas, their main thing is that ain't what they're talking about. Right. So, it, there you have it. Yeah. You yeah. know? Verse 37, it says, For by thy words thou shalt be justified, mm-hmm. and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. That's what I'm saying. And Lord willing, we on the right side of that at the end of the day, man. Right. You know? 
And then uh, we can just finish up the last verse in chapter 2 of 1 Corinthians. All right. I'm going to go back to 15 and read 16 too. Huh. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15 and 16. It says, But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Right. For who, uh, for who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? Who hath known the mind of the Heavenly Father, that he may instruct him? Isn't didn't 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 doesn't the scripture say that my ways is higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts? Mm -hmm. How are you going to instruct the heavenly Father on what His program is and what He has to go on? And you want to sit here and rewrite the Bible before Christmas, yeah. thinking that everything is going to be good? <laughs> you want to rewrite everything that the Lord has set up and planned? You want to rewrite everything? How, who are you to instruct the heavenly Father or His men that He that He already? As we read earlier in the chapter, predestined before to understand and get the mysteries. Yep. It's already been written and established. That's right, brother. Who the hell is you? Go ahead. Uh, but we have the mind of Hamashiach. But we have the mind of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shad, man. He has given us his mind and his spirit in John the 17th chapter. Con. You know what I'm saying? He he He's the one that he's our life. He is the one that unlocked our understanding for us to receive this word. Starting with our apostles and elders on down, man. Uh, that's right, brother. For the spiritual man to discern spiritual things and for the natural man to, to understand natural things. It's all in the working and glorification of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. The two-thirds gotta be the two-thirds. The elect gotta be the elect. That's right. There's gonna be a difference, and there's gonna be there's gonna be a difference in the division, regardless. Until the kingdom comes, man. Somebody gotta fall in that light. Lord willing, we are those men to fall in the lot on the right hand side. But you niggas that's talking shit and scoffing, mm -hmm. thinking that your words won't be condemned and that your actions won't be condemned, that your that your sins aren't being stacked up to heaven just like Esau's man, you're gonna fall on the left hand side of the stick. Mm -hmm. Lord willing, we don't fall on that side, man. That's right. That's why we crank out these videos. That's why we stay in order. That's why we follow through the spirit of what the apostles and elders are saying. When they go in the chip, videos of the chip go out. Why? Because it's the spirit speaking through those men to push that subject out, man. Con. Just how we going back into the spirit of uh, of the Gentiles and Cornelius. Right. The breakdown's already been out, but the spirit wants that information to go out again because it's going to be a mass influx of Gentiles coming in. Because we in the last days, man. But, you know, that's 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 really it, man. We just pulled up the class, a quick and transit video. Uh, brother, did you have anything else you wanted to go nope. into? Nope. Con, well, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Uh, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And much peace, love, and salutation to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.